put a comment below before I reveal it, what you think this is. Hey everyone, today we're doing something a little bit different. It's not an SBC, but it is SBC related in a way because I'm trying to make alternate weeks, alternate products. Every second week, hopefully, should be an SBC video. And the ones in between will be things like this, like tools that I use or interesting things that I find. And this one, this one was interesting. This mob reached out to me probably about a year ago now, and on Star. And they asked if they made anything they'd be interested in. And I was a little bit curious, but hadn't thought too much about it because I wasn't doing much. Uh, PCB prototyping at the time. But then eventually I kept coming across the need for a microscope. So I went back to them and uh, they agreed to send me one to uh, keep, I guess. They didn't say I have to send it back. So now I've got a microscope and I thought I'll show you guys. Um, it's They've got an AliExpress store. I'll put a link below, uh, including to this exact product. It'll be an affiliate link because everyone loves money and it costs you nothing more. But I rocked up this week in this box and it took no time to put together and it's already been immensely helpful. Um, so as you can see here, it has a head unit. It's got USB-C power, HDMI out, and it's got an SD card slot there. It's then got the microscope part underneath it here, interchangeable lenses. You've got your adjustment here to dial it up and down. You've got your lights and you've got a bit of motion here. So. You can do your very macro up and down. You can move the lens in and out. Um, and uh, then you've got your fine tuning with the focus over here. Now it does also have two different light sources that I'll show you, but it didn't take long to assemble, probably 10 minutes. And it's just worth noting that this main peg was a bit on the wonk for me. So I just had to get a socket on here, loosen it, straighten that up with a level and then put it back on. And I've been, you know, for lack of a better term, really fucking impressed. Um, the instructions that it comes with were pretty straightforward uh, on how to put it together. And it then comes with a whole pile of sample things. So I'm going to put my own sample thing under there first. I just did a video about the Milk V Duo. And this will give you an example of... Oh, if I can get that light in a good position. There we go of the sort of quality. So this comes with three lenses and it's 4K and it also does HDMI out. That for me is killer. Um, let's go and have a look really close at something in here. So let me just have a look with my... Um, yeah, all right. We'll look at what I think is a little crystal there. There we go. There's a 40 megahertz and a 25 megahertz crystal. So that's kind of the default setting there. I'm gonna zoom. I'm going to move this way, all the way down with this lens. Zoom, focus that one. There we go. And then you've also got zoom on here. So I can dial this right in. And so here we can see the solder really clearly. Got these little lights I can move around to try to get it just right. We can see everything we might want to see about this PCB design. We can see exactly how the solder is taken. We'll be able to see if there's any damaged tracks or anything crossing there. It gives us an insane amount of detail and it essentially is just designed to make your life easier. So it has this remote here as well where you can turn it on and off and it's got a nice little boot screen, but you can adjust the brightness of the light as well, uh, which may be necessary at times as well. Now, you can go even closer than that. So the lens I've got on is a 12 to 320 millimeter lens, focal length. There is this four to five mil lens as well. And then this 90 to 300. So you get a fair bit of option. Now, if we move this out the way, we take these two screws off from the side. If I tilt, you can probably see it a bit better too. Take these two screws off. Be careful not to drop the lens when you do this. Here we go. I'm gonna put that safely in that container, in a spare container for a moment. Grab this other lens out and mount it in exactly the same way. And we'll turn it over. We'll instead look at this um, MCU on the back. But what we're gonna to have to do is move this big, one all the way down to try to get close enough here. It's gonna be a bit of a stretch, 
but it looks like I'm getting there. So I'll just roughly dial it in with that. Put this little locking ring in place. And now I do have this granular adjustment here. And then the focus adjustment as well. So that's the pitting on the MCU. That's a QR code stamped on it actually, which is, you know, what's that? That's gonna be two, three mil. Here's the writing, it's on a slope. So we're going down and out of focus. Let's see if we can get this um, tiny little device. So what's that looking at? We need to go a fair bit that way and a bit that way. Then dial in the focus. Where is this bloody thing that I want to look at? That's the edge of what? All right, so edge of the board. That's the R. I'm going to go back from that. And then that's where it says milk V. So just on top of that. There, that's what I was looking for. This little bastard. All right. Gonna have to get a little bit closer. Get some more light in. And try not to move it too much. So, there we can see this bloody tiny IC on there. And we can pull the focus out until, well, I'll put it too close, but we can get as much detail as we want there. And that's at 4K, which is, again, insane. The quality of this for an affordable product that's only a few hundred dollars blows my mind. Now, this one's more expensive because it comes with the different lenses, but you can get a more basic version. They've got a kid's version for 50 bucks or $75, depending on the variant. Um, but this impresses me a lot. So they, they go a bit further as well. It comes with some samples. If we get that out of the way, we open this box up. You can see it comes with the USB-C cable that you will need. It comes with a micro uh, HDMI to HDMI cable. USB 2 amp, 5 volt, pretty stock standard. Remote control, which is awesome, um, because you can put an SD card in this, take pictures and whatnot. When you're touching it, it's gonna vibrate. So remote control is excellent. It comes with this. So you can, of course, mount the clamps that I've mounted to the bottom onto that. But what you do is you unplug the power from the back for those lamps. You got here a little DC jack. You plug it into that one instead. So if we move that under there, straighten the cords out a bit. You then get a specimen jar that you can put your own specimens in. Some spare screws and you get a few little slides. Now this, this was what really impressed me. This is the one we all do in school. I'm sure you'll recognize it as soon as you see it. That is a stained onion epidermis. Um, so they're the individual cells of the onion that you can see there. And again, we can zoom right in if need be. And you can see a stupid amount of detail in that onion cell. It comes with a few other cool things. Um, some you might not, might not like, some you might. If we have a look at this next one, they've got a few samples of bits of bee. I know that sounds slightly morbid, but it is pretty cool. I do love bees, don't get me wrong. I grow a lot of stuff in the garden and bees are infinitely valuable out there. But the, the wing of a honeybee is just something to behold. And look at those little teeth on it. That is insane to see and excellent quality. Um, 
the stills of this would look great. But then there is something even cooler that they included that I had not actually seen before. So I'm gonna zoom all the way back out. I'm gonna put this one on upside down so you can't see the label if you haven't already. Let's see if you can figure out what it is. Let's get this in focus. Put a comment below before I reveal it, what you think this is. It's maximum brightness. I'm gonna to start to, I'm gonna zoom in now and I'll use the remote. I'll show that the remote works. Remote needs batteries, hang on. I hope you put a comment below with your guess. Gonna start zooming in now using the remote. That's the infrared sensor there. Seems to have some pretty good range. What's this button do? I haven't even played with half of these options yet. Ah, oh, freeze. So it does also have a 50 versus 60 hertz setting. Um, you can change all the brightness, pretty much everything you wanna do from there. It would be worth putting an SD card in. That is maximum zoom though. That is a phenomenal image to me. If you haven't already figured it out, that's a very fine slice of a pine stem. So what I understand here is that you can see the capillaries that draw the water up, um, and then you've got kind of the cells branching out from there. And that's, that's something I've never seen before, and I think is phenomenal. So I'm really impressed with this. I've got one last thing to test though, which I've not tested before, and that's the HDMI out. So I've got a 4K capture card in my computer. I'm gonna plug this in, if it reaches, and see just how good this quality is. Give me a minute. Thank you, and OnStar. I would recommend their products. This is bloody brilliant. And yeah, it's, it's, it's endorsed. They gave me this for free, but um, I would buy one. And funnily enough, amongst all of that, after I decided to finally get out, I then watched a great Scott video the other day, and he has one too. So that speaks for it. Thanks again. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Check out my other channel about cooking if you want. Join me on Patreon if you want your name floating around up here somewhere at some point. And leave comments. Uh, let me know if you want to see anything like close up and still under this. The two things for Andon Star, if Lucker watches this, is it would be cool if it came with a case. Um, I think being able to pack it into a case would be really neat. And it should probably come with like a little 8 gig SD card or something. Um, that's about it though. This is a very good product. I very much appreciate that it was sent to me. And I hope you guys get one too. Get the $75 one for your kid. It's designed to stick like leaves and bugs and stuff under. And yeah, science is important. We need it. Everyone should learn a bit of it. Enjoy.